<laughs> hey internet, how's it going? Welcome to Recap Corner. You know, I'm really loving Keicho, and there's a specific episode, or at least this specific episode in particular, because this is taking the training route to a whole new level. Not, not necessarily because of that it's, it's grueling or it's hurting anybody, or that it's kind of trying to beat their brains down or some shit like that. This actually feels like that, that they actually sort of thought a few of these things down, you know. Uh, that, 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 like that, they wrote a few of these down, they tested them out themselves, and actually kind of said, well, yeah, these training methods work. You know, such as you walking down, down a river and using your body to kind of smack away debris. I mean, again, it kind of does the whole Mr. Miyagi shit from, like, the, um, say, from the Karate Kid of saying, okay, you walking down this river, sure, it's cold and it don't seem like much, but you going against the current, building up muscles. Okay, cool. Then also, then also on top of that, you have this debris coming, you use your body to sort of like sway it and knock it away. I mean, again, you may think that it may be power, power, powerful, but they're also learning basic judo techniques there. You can use motherfuckers like um, actual momentum against them and knock them away because again, the harder you come in is not necessarily like really helping you all that much and they can just knock that shit away. You know, it's a basic like martial art tactic. But the real demon comes in like midway through this episode when it when it comes down to Nozomi and what she had to learn with the whole turn up thing. And basically from I, I, I guess the most simplistic way of that of that of that I can put it is sort of pulling out like say it's sort of pulling out a plug. Okay? Pulling out a plug or plug or pulling out headphones, most people, or so like when they pull out the chargers, they usually grab it by the cord and then they pull, which kind of tears some things like in your fucking like um, uh, in your charger. And some people they don't necessarily understand that. And the zombies kind of learn learning that here. I mean, sure, like her teacher, she she can easily like just uproot um, turnips with her ass and shit, like just easily because. She knows the trick. Nozomi, on the other hand, she's not all that bright. <laughs> I mean, again, we've kind of already—I mean, like we've kind of already established that, and that's something that actually kind of makes her like one of that actually kind of makes her a really good one of the better main characters because she doesn't just automatically learn shit. But also on top of that, in this episode, they also kind of go down this basic route of all those original martial art movies I liked of saying like, listen, you have to get this down, and every single one you break, you have to eat. Except for the more grueling one that I watched was that if he said like he had to do these push-ups over, uh, over these eggs and if he broke them eggs, that's all the fuck you gonna eat. Rice and eggs. That's it. Did it for a whole fucking year. Fucking terrible. That taste is gonna kill you. But moving on to this one on the other hand, same principle except for you really gotta learn the basics of, of momentum and also learning how to swiftly strike with a big ass. Essentially. And for her, and the whole thing of you learn it by pulling out these turnips is more or less like, well, now you can't just try and shotgun the attack because you're gonna go slower. Basically, you got basically you have to use your center of gravity to get lower. Think of it because she got the idea from, from a wheelbarrow, of course. Just go down and then slowly use that momentum to sort of say, like, as you're shifting your weight, use that momentum to kind of pull things out. You know, I could be wrong there. I mean, like, I probably could have explained it better, but still, that's basically the idea, and I kind of like it. You know, however, the next episode seems to be a good old-fashioned school-on-school throwdown. So, hopefully, the next episode, like, that nobody really gets beat down all that much. The only real thing, the only other thing that I can say though is that there has been a tiny battle um, that kind of has been come um, of that. Say so that has been kind of foreshadowed in the uh, at the end of this episode which is that Bunny Girl is going up against Nozomi and even though she's just a fangirl she's kind of getting a little crazy there <laughs> you know especially especially because um she really wants that other girl girl to be all on her and shit when she's not you know the big lesbian one who has all the talent talent honestly I don't honestly I don't even think that she's a lesbian truth be told I think that she's just some girl out there who just likes to fuck with other girls by like, grabbing on their bodies and shit you know, but until then, that is what I gotta say about that. I'll see you on the next John Grave show. This has been Recap Corner. Keep watching anime, keep playing video games. I'm out.
Hello Internet, welcome back to the Complain Train, and what is and what are we doing today? We are talking about Legend of Zelda, where the wild things roam. And yes, I know that's not what, what the actual fucking title is, but it's way more fun to call it that than Breath of the Wild. You know, like some shit like out of a damn Dr. Seuss book, but whatever. What am I talking about today? Well, there's a problem with the NX, or Switch, or what the, or what the fuck ever, and that is the damn thing don't got no fucking games coming out for it. Well, it might have the occasional Mario. No, 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 it doesn't. It may have the occasional Pokemon. Eh, that's sort of sketchy. They may have.